something that the museum acquired a few years ago, about, about two years ago, from the family of Jacob Birnbaum, this gentleman here who lost his life on board Titanic in 1912. Um, the watch was um, on his body when it was found 12 days after the disaster. He was found floating in the sea with his lifeboat on and his pyjamas and his overcoat. And he had a number of objects on his person, including the watch and a wallet and a pair of scissors and a, pa a pair of tweezers and various other bits and pieces. The watch was actually sent back to his family who had it recased and the movement replaced. And, there, and his father had it engraved, Jacob Birnbaum, Titanic 1912, uh, in, in his memory. And the object below is actually a body tag that was attached to his body when he was taken from the water. He was number 148 of 190 bodies that were taken from the water on the day that he was found. Um, and usually they knew his name pretty quickly because he had a wallet on him with, with his details in it. Um, but it was tied to his body and it was actually sent back to the, with, with the watch to, to the family. And this object here is of interest because um, it's, <laughs> it's colloquially called the Titanic Pig. I mean, it was, it was on board Titanic with Edith Rosenbaum, who was a, a fashion journalist who was travelling to America from, from Europe. Um, apparently, she was, was very reluctant to get into the life and was quite... Was, refused to believe that the boat was sinking and so she had her lucky pig on her and one of the stewards took the pig off her and threw it into the lifeboat and she followed it. It's a musical pig, you can wind up the tail and it play, plays um, a tune and apparently when they were in the lifeboat waiting to be picked up for seven hours she was playing it continually to keep the children who were quite frightened um, amused.